to the channel. So today we're going to be reading Arthur's Funny Money. It was Saturday morning. Violet was counting numbers on her fingers. Arthur was counting the money in his piggy bank. He counted three dollars and seventy-eight cents. Arthur said, "Violet, do you know numbers?" Yes, I do," said Arthur. "I am working with numbers right now." Well," said Violet, "if I have five peas, and you take three, you give me back two. How many peas will I have?" "All of them," said Arthur. "I don't like peas, so I won't take any." I know you don't like peas," said Violet. "But I am trying to do a number problem. Will you help me? I have my own number problem," said Arthur. He turned his piggy bank upside down and shook it. But no more money came out. I don't have five dollars to buy a T-shirt and matching cap," said Arthur. "Everyone on our frisbee team has to buy them." They have far out frisbees, printed on them in blue, and they light up in the dark. Wilma's big sister is running errands to make money," said Violet. "She wants to buy a new catcher's mitt. I don't like running er errands," said Arthur. I could wash cars," said Violet. "You could wash cars," said Violet. "The junior high kids always wash cars to raise money. That's what they all. That's what they all doing this afternoon. Well, if they are washing cars, then I can't," said Arthur. "They would be too many of us in the car wash business." I know," said Violet. "You, you could wash bikes. Lots of kids would pay to have their bikes washed. Great," said Arthur. "I could get the rust off the wheels, and I could shine up the frame. I could make lots of money." "That's not fair," said Violet. "I told you about the bike wash, but you never told me about the peas." "I will," said Arthur. But first, help me set my business. Set up my set up business. Violet went to the kitchen. She got a pail and a brush. She got a cloth and a sponge. Then she took them to the back steps. Arthur was making a sign. It said, "Bikes washed, good as new." Good as new, twenty-five cents. There is no soap or willow," said Violet. "We have to buy some." Arthur put his money in a bag, and they went to the store. Arthur bought a box of soap for fifty-three cents and a box of willow for twenty-seven cents. I hope lots of kids want their bikes washed," said Violet. When they got home, Norman was waiting for his little brother and their dog, Bubbles. How much is it for a tricycle? Asked Norman's little brother. The same as for a bike, said Arthur. But a trike is only half as big as a bike, said Norman. You should charge half as much. Well, said Arthur. It's Half as big, but it has more wheels. Tell you what," said Norman. "I will give you thirty-five cents for my bike and this trike. How's that for a deal?" Arthur thought about it and opened the box of soap. He filled the pail with water, then he counted on his fingers and thought some more. Look what Bubbles is doing," 
said Naaman's little brother. Bubbles was eating the soap out of the box, and he was drinking water out of the pail. That's why we call him Bubbles, said Norman. He ate most of this of my soap, yelled Arthur. You better pay me back. I will give you 42 cents for washing the bike and the trike, said Norman quick, quickly. You'll be able to buy lots more soap. I don't want to buy more soap, said Arthur. I want to buy a frisbee t-shirt and matching cap. Bubbles is eating Brillo for dessert, said Violet. Get the dog out of here, shouted Arthur. He's, he's spoiling my business. You have to advertise if you want business, said Norman. Tell you what. I'll do it for you. You wash my bike and put a sign on it says, Arthur washed me. I'll ride all over town and get you lots of business. Me too, said Norman's brother. It won't cost you anything, said Norman, and you'll make lots of money. So Arthur washed the bike and the trike. He got the rust off the wheels, and he shined up the frames. Then he made two signs and put one on each of them. Okay, said Norman. We're ready to ride. He gave Arthur 42 cents, and he and his little brother rode off. Arthur put the 42 cents in the bag. With the rest of his money, he hold the money for me. He said to Violet, and write down every time I get some. When it gets to $5.25, I'm quitting. What's the extra 25 cents for? Act Violet. For licorice tri twist, said Arthur. I just love licorice twist. He gave Violet some paper and a pencil. Now, said Arthur, write down $3.78. That's how much I had to I had to start. Under that right, take away 53 cents. And take away 27 cents. That's for the soap and brillo. Violet wrote down all the numbers. Now add on 42 cents said Arthur, and that's how much I have now. How much is that? asked Violet. Let's see, said Arthur, and he started to count on his fingers. I thought you said you knew numbers, said Violet. I do, said Arthur. Look, there's a parade at the corner, and it's coming this way. That's not a parade, said Violet. That's Wilma and her cousin Peter and his friend John. Wilma was wheeling a dog buggy with a walking horse in, in it, and she was pulling a stroller. Peter was driving a fire engine and pulling a wagon with a sled in it. John was riding a scooter and carrying a skateboard. When we saw the sign, said Wilma, and we came to get watched. Arthur only washes bikes, said Violet. No, I don't, said Arthur quickly. And he rolled up his sleeves. He put my water in the pail, and he put in the rest of the soap. Well, said Arthur, I'm going to clean up. This will make me lots of money. Violet got her pencil and paper ready. Wilma, Wilma's cousin... Peter was whispering something to Wilma. Wait a minute, said Wilma. We thought you washed for free. For free, yelled Arthur. You, can't you read that sign? Wilma's cousin whispered to her again. Did Norman 
The sign on Norman's bag didn't say anything about money, said Wilma. It's against the law to tell a lie on a sign. I didn't tell a lie on, the, on a sign, said Arthur. This sign right here says, Bike washed 25 cents. And that's what I'm washing. No scooters or doll boogies or anything else. Arthur pulled his sleeves down. Peter pulled Wilma's sleeve and whispered some more. Okay, said Wilma. We'll go get our bikes. You can wash them for 25 cents apiece. If you do the rest for free. Arthur thought about it. He looked at the empty box of soap. He steered the water in the pail. Tell you what, said Arthur. Throw in a little extra so I could buy more soap and I will do it. How's that for a deal? So Wilma and Peter and John got their bikes. Arthur scrubbed the wheels and he shined the frames. He washed the buggy and st the stroller and the walking horse for Wilma. He, she gave Arthur 34 cents. He washed the fire engine, the sled, and the wagon for Peter. He gave Arthur 36 cents. He washed the scooter and the skateboard for John. He gave Arthur 33 cents. Violet put all the money in the bag and she wrote down all the numbers after Wilma and Peter and John left. Arthur said, now let's get more soap so I can make more money. Arthur and Violet took the bag of money and went to the store. Arthur got a box of soap and counted out 53 cents. Sorry, son, said the grocery grocery. This soap cost 64 cents. But it was 53 cents in this morning, said Arthur. That's right, said the gro grocer. But the piece went out. But the price went out. You can't get soap at, at this morning's price this afternoon. That's not fair, said Arthur. Maybe they still have it at this mo morning's price at some other store, said Violet. Arthur and Violet went down the street. They passed the hardware store and the fruit and vegetable store. Then they came to the general store. They was, there was a t-shirt and matching cap in the window. The t-shirt said, Far Out Frisbee. On it in blue and sign said, and sign said window samples reduced. Maybe you don't have to buy more soap to make more money, said Violet. Maybe you have enough right now. Arthur and Violet went into the store. How much is the sample in the window? Asked Arthur. Four dollars and twenty-five cents, said the sales lady. Do you, do you have en enough money? I don't know, said Arthur. I have to count it. He poured his money out of the bag. It will take a long time to count all that, said the lady. No, it won't, said Violet. Arthur knows numbers, and I have the numbers written down. <laughs> she gave Arthur the paper and the numbers on it. Let's see, said Arthur. $3.78, take away 53 cents, take away 27 cents, add 43 cents, add 34 cents, add 36 cents, add 33 cents, hmm. That's four dollars and forty-three cents, said the lady. You have enough for the t-shirt and cap. And eighteen cents left over. Well, said Arthur, I'll take the t-shirt and cap. And do you have any li licorice crisps? Yes, said the lady. There are five cents apiece, or six for a quarter. How many... 
how many do I get for 18 cents, said Arthur. Um, you'll see, said the lady. She winked at Violet. Violet looked at Arthur. Arthur, she said, you said you knew numbers. Here are five licorice twists, said the lady. I'll give you two extra for good luck. I don't, Violet, if I have five peas you, and you take three and give me back two. Wait, said Arthur. Change the peas to licorice twist and I will help you. Okay, said Violet. How many licorice twists will I have? Hold out your hand, said Arthur. He gave Violet the five licorice twists. Then he took away three and gave two back. You would have four licorice twists, said Arthur, but that one leaves me with one. You do know numbers, Arthur, said Violet. She, and she started to eat her licorice twist. Arthur looked at the one he had left. I got mixed up, he said. You knew you would only have two, I I know, said Violet, because if you took three liquid twists, you wouldn't give me, you wouldn't give back any. You just love liquid twists. So Violet and Arthur shared the liquid twists, and they each had two and a half. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Author's Funny Money and stay tuned for more book reads coming soon. Take care, guys, and stay safe out there. Goodbye. Bye.